Welcome back, guys. Um, if you hear a lawnmower in the background, it's <laughs> it's because my neighbor uh, is mowing the yard. I think before it storms here again. But anyway, moving on. In our last episode, we took Falcon Watch, and the plan was to take Fountain Hall from the realm of the Falcon. But obviously, um, we were beaten. To the punch, the Rebel Nation declared war against them shortly after that episode was made. Well, probably not shortly if you're looking at the date, but <laughs> I took time to level up some troops and I'll get to that in a second. But yeah, the Rebel Nation is taking Fountain Hall. I was hoping that the um, remaining forces of the Realm of the Falcon would go over there and try to get it back, but they didn't. And actually, they ended up getting defeated, I think, by, like, bandits or smaller parties simply because we had them weakened so much already, and I didn't feel confident going in there. But, we had some strange goings on in between that time. We had a bunch of vassals defect to um, the Taventer Imperium, and... I, I, it's been chaos, to be honest. Like, I have no idea what the hell's going on right now. We had a vassal that had Crane defect from the hack on. And uh, it showed it as being ours, but I couldn't find him anywhere. And I'm assuming it's because he was in our fief. And while I'm discussing this, we're going to go in here because there's only 76... Um, I'm assuming it's because he was in the backlog of our, <laughs> of all the vassals that we have clogged up in the, uh, clogged up in the castle that we have right now. Are we going to leave our soldiers in an assault? Oh, actually, no, we need to leave. We need to leave. Yes, retreat. Um, we're going to abandon this. Because I gotta do this before we do before we go in there. I got our cavalry up front. You notice that our army has 40 great knights, 35 ranger knights. These guys um, actually weren't too hard to level up, but they are very costly. You can see down here, 16,000. So we are losing quite a bit of money and I'm gonna leave that Eagle Knight up there but I will move these guys down so yeah um, back on to what I was saying I'm assuming that the vassal that owned this place was um, in the backlog and we just can't see him because I was trying to figure out what kind of vassal that he was like what his personality type was before I accepted him but I never could find him to talk to him to find that out so unfortunately I don't know if I can accept him or not but I had defended his fief let's see for a long time just to uh, these guys are actually easier to level up than the others so we're gonna put them first and yes I know they're cavalry and I'm putting them in first but they have good enough stats for infantry um, but I defended crane many times against the hack on and it got to the point to where I was just waiting for the realm of the Falcon to try and take fountain hall back because it's so close to the territory we already own that we ended up losing this because I just forgot and so, uh, this gives us, in actuality, a little bit of an opportunity to, um, actually, it may be better just to go ahead and send our infantry in there, but we'll see. Um, yeah, yeah, there's an opportunity to just take this fee for ourselves, which is what I thought about doing in the first place, but I 
kind of didn't want to resort to that tactic. So, uh, since this is what we have come to with no real intention of our own in doing it, we're just going to stick with it. And I think... Um, yeah, we're going to send our infantry in there because they're just going to get uh, pelted to death, I think, from those crossbowmen. And it'll allow us to move our archers and our light cavalry up here with their bows and hopefully get some more, get easier kills. And hopefully we don't lose a lot of units that are going up this ladder. Night of the Eagles doing some good work for us there. They're already getting reinforcements, which is good. Now, I've been comparing my gameplay to... Um, if I know some of you probably watch Reformist. Watch his Prisno as well. And I've been comparing mine to his, and I think that we're playing on slightly different difficulties. And that's not really fair for me to do that. I think um, I think he has better combat AI, but lesser damage, maybe? But he may be playing on normal damage. I may not know what the hell I'm talking about. Oh man, those Tauranians. Getting wrecked by something. Luckily, we've only taken one death. That's right, guys. Get in there. Ouch. That's right, we got a kill finally in like... <laughs> first kill in like four episodes. After taking 38 damage. Jesus. So we'll charge everybody in now. I think, yeah, there's only two left. We got this. Yes. That's right. The last three kills. Finally. <laughs> Lady Esme. Um, actually showing up for once. So we, we did lose one to death. What was it we lost? Just an archer. Not bad. And Agnar just lost nine to death, which is... Doesn't look like he lost... Uh, yeah, I don't think he lost too much. So, now... And we're at war with, like, three or four different factions right now, and I'm trying to... Trying to balance it all out, but I don't... I don't know how well it's going to go. Right now it's going well because we can pretty much fend for ourselves. And uh, and Agnar is doing okay by himself as well. But, yeah, I'm taking Crane for myself. Thank you very much. Let's see... And we're not going to plunder at all. What we will do, though, is move our court here. Ah, uh, we got the... Uh, we got the silk and the... Other stuff in the... Castle. So we're going to put... All of our archers in here first. As well as... I'm thinking all of these guys as well. Yeah, we'll put all of these guys in there as well, just to uh, just until we get back, because we're gonna go over to our castle and uh, put our cavalry back up here. We're gonna go over to our castle and get that silk and tools, so we can move this our court over to the city. And should I? No. Let's hold off on that. And now we can actually manage our kingdom, which is good. And we'll take this little bit of food. Sell these. Yeah, we're kind of struggling with food right now, but that's okay. It's quite all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave. And we will... Hmm. 
There we go. We'll, we'll let him just do what he wants. I didn't know how many troops we would lose. Or if we would get ambushed by other vassals if we didn't bring him along. So he was just insurance, really. So now, what we're going to do is go over here as fast as we can. And uh, I think what we're going to do next is either take a Marna or knock out some of these Draharan fiefs through here, or maybe even the Hakon. I'm not exactly sure yet. It's it's a little hit or miss right now. Mainly because of... Uh, let's see, I need to set the timer for this episode. Mainly because they're both at war with us, but... That being said... Hello. Where do you think you're going, sir? Ah, oh, he's going to raid my village. Let's see, what's he got? Camel riders. We don't have our main cavalry with us, so we're just going to let him go and do his thing this time. And there is... Uh... He's not doing anything. He's just chilling out. Like, I don't know what he's doing. But we'll let him do his thing there. Go back, manage the garrison. We will take... Hmm. Do we want to take all of these? Probably not. It is tempting, though. To take these. We'll, we'll not do that, though. We'll leave them in this garrison until we... Uh, we need them, I think. And let's see. We need to talk to this guy. Household storage. There's our velvet and our tools. We'll take these. And now, I'm going to go move our court real fast. And let's see. This episode is probably. We'll make it about 18 minutes. I've probably been talking for a good six or seven as it is so yeah as long as uh, as long as they're just raiding villages we'll be okay we're gonna get our cavalry back as soon as we uh, we'll do that later as soon as we move our court now, there is something else strange going on, and I think it's just Crane. Yeah, we're going over there. I think it's just a small bug with the, uh... You bastards. You dirty, dirty bastards. You all will not get away with your transgressions. So yeah, I think it's just a small bug... Uh, can we sneak in there? If we can sneak in there. Without getting caught. Yeah, okay. We're good. <laughs> um, so let's see. Ah, uh, there's no option to move our court here. Are they all... Well. Hello. Are they all already here, I wonder? Chamberlain's here, Constable's here. Interesting. Is Shi Jin, or not Shi Jin, but Dehosin. Is Dehosin going to be here? He's not here. But these are all the ladies. Ugh. Goodness. Well, we probably can't move our court here because it's under. It's under attack. I'm assuming. So we need to get our... I'm just going to assume that they're going to try to come in. So I'm getting our infantry ready. And I need to put our squires up there. Because they are pretty decent infantry themselves. And I think... That'll be good. We'll put the Maiden of War Priestess in the garrison. Where is our... Okay, yeah, they're fine. They're fine. Alright. 
so we're gonna wait here for some time so yeah the bug that I'm talking about <laughs> before I keep getting distracted is uh, related to yeah that's what I thought related to the Dwarven Empire and for whatever reason let's take 20 How's that? 20 of each? Yeah. I like that. We'll move them up. Gives us a smaller force. And uh, it's related to the Dwarven Empire, and I th think that uh, it's harmless. I don't think it's like a, a bug that's really going to affect much. But it is pretty funny. And I'll show it to you guys in just a minute. As soon as I get our situation sorted here. And I think that's going to do it. I think. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I'm trying to get all these guys leveled up as much as I can. But it's becoming a little difficult. So. Um... Let's see, let's just go into characters. And we'll go down to... Uh huh, this one here. Probably a little familiar if you've played Prisno before. <laughs> Lady Hackon, everybody. Lady Hackon. <laughs> I don't know if this guy's going through some, like, um... Some kind of... <laughs> gender confusion issues, or... If he's thinking of having the uh, surgery at some point. I don't know. I mean, whatever gets him through the day, of course, but... Where's Haba? Haba's down there. <laughs> now we can change the uh, kingdom's color and stuff. And we will hire a spy... And we'll hire a high marshal. Ooh, 20,000. I don't think we have 20,000 yet, so we'll wait. I mean, we do in the treasury, but... We'll wait. So now what we're going to do is... Uh, come down here. And keep this guy from... Try to stop this guy from raiding our village. And now we're actually making money. Wow, 69000 And that one in the treasury? Wow. 75,000 tariffs from Crane. Goodness. Tax inefficiencies, 5%. Well, at least we actually made money once for once. And uh, look at Agnar with over 200 troops. Go Agnar. And we are going to run this guy down. Mainly because he's been raiding all of my villages and getting on my nerves quite a bit. And every time... He comes back with a new party. It's actually starting to piss me off a little bit, to be perfectly honest. Getting a little tired of his shit. Now, um, one thing I will note about our army is... It's... <laughs> I've become to love the uh, Great Knights. They aren't... They aren't as good by themselves as the uh, Realm of the Falcon units. They still... Uh, you can still take quite a few losses against the Realm of the Falcon using, using the Great Knights, but uh, they are probably the best units that the Prisno... Uh, faction has just because you can see that they're just they're doing so great and they they're versatile as well they uh, you can use them as infantry you can use the ranger units as archers in siege defenses and they're very mobile on the field so you can get them up on hills and stuff really easy but I find it's best just to uh, usually at least right now with no formations AI or anything. I think it's best to just usually just let them charge in and do their own thing. We're trying to help our 
man here taking out these lancers uh, because they they can handle themselves pretty easily they they don't really need a lot of help and as you can see we took no casualties at all not even wounded and we're using prisoner cavalry and uh, none cavalry and stuff a lot of cavalry but that's because I have come to learn that cavalry in field battles is king so that's what we're going with and I travel with around 200 units between 200 and 275 just depending and I like to get a lot of great knights first at least 5 to 10 above the rangers but uh, around 200 275 in my party usually I don't like to go above 300 just because I like to have um, an amount of elite units rather than a huge number of units. It looks like Agnar's going to get him some more. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Way to go, Agnar. So we got 34,000. We can actually go in here and hire. Yeah, now we can move our court here. It's probably because it's under siege. Yes, we will establish Craners our court. Manage this town. Actually, let's... Uh, where is it? Manage the kingdom. Let's hire this guy first. Nice. And now we'll manage this town. And I'm wondering... Um, caravan escort? 3,900... 42 days. Festival Square. 3,942 days. Is, let's see. Loyalty of a town increases monthly and party morale increases for every day spent in town. Hmm. That's interesting. University, I don't think. Wow. Increases your renown in town's relation every week. 81 days. Yeah. Build it to please the merchant community and engages in trade enterprises. Increases town town prosperity every week. Hmm. Blacksmith's forge just 42 days. Caravan escort. I think we'll go ahead and do this because there's a lot of bandits around here. And we'll go in our castle. And you can see all of these guys here. Just so many vassals. And, like, I don't know any of their personalities is why I haven't taken any. And I don't think there's any way for me to find out unless this guy can tell me. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. During Castle of the Drahara is lightly defended. Let's see where that is. We'll take a moment just to see where that is. During Castle. Ah. Interesting. So we could go all the way up there. That's way too far. I think out of our... Yeah, I think that's way too far out of range for us. So. Hmm. Interesting. Can I go in there? Thank you. And I think that's all we can do. We could hire a mercenary company. Wandering mercenary company. Female wandering mercenary. I don't know what exactly those do just yet. I'll probably look that up before we do anything. But yeah. Like, I really don't know what to do with all of these vassals. Because I don't know their personality types. We do have a couple defectors that I want to take, but they're... They're kind of in the backlog of vassals. So... What I'm afraid of doing... 
is turning these guys away and then being completely outnumbered by other factions. But I don't think we have much of a choice, to be honest. Servant changes the world kingdom. In this kingdom, wish to make myself of use. Anything related? Just ask. Basically is what he was saying. Um, hire a small prisoner army to help keep order. 12,000 arms with no extra cost afterwards. You only have one army on the field at a time. Would you like to hire one? Yeah, we don't have the money for that yet. So okay, well, this guy, these are, this is actually a pretty large uh, army as well. So we're probably going to do that eventually. But I may do that off camera. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, do a little cleaning up in the uh, Lord's Hall here, probably off camera, because um, I don't know. I think this episode's actually getting pretty close to ending. But let's see. Is there... Yeah, I keep getting this message as well. I um, have no idea why, but it's just a minor thing. It's not a big issue. You'll, you'll see it pop up quite often. So don't even worry about it. I'm just letting you guys know for future reference. And I kind of figured that that guy was going to uh, raid my village. It's it's okay, though. We'll just let him be. And I think we're going to scout out. Actually, let's go over to... Yeah, we'll leave the Sultan to his devices there. Let him go about his merry way. We're going to go over here and check out... I think we can actually take this. They have 207 prisoners, which we can take to fortify our garrison at Crane. What I would like to do is take... Yeah, let's go over to Nuzdak real quick before I end the episode off and scout it out. And a little bit of an error there. There's enemy patrol down here, it says. Ooh, that was close. I'm glad those guys weren't hostile. And I'll, I'll level those guys up off screen. Significant group of enemies. Why, hello! Alright, this will be our last battle for the episode, I think. Come here, sir. And, of course. <laughs> uh, okay. Now we're running down. Tricked your ass, sir. And it looks like Agnar is going to go siege a hun castle. <laughs> That's probably, like, totally butchered, but it sounds funny to me. A hun. That's what it's going to be from now on. And we are going to engage this gentleman here. Have our cavalry spread out just a little. Have our heavy cavalry charge. And have everybody else charge in. I try to get my heavy cavalry spread out so that their lances are as effective as possible. And they're not all in, all ending up in that big cluster of a uh, cluster of a train wreck. And you can see we're we are losing some units there. Not too happy about that, but it should be okay. It should balance itself out. And hopefully we don't get a spear to the face here. But yeah, we are our, our units are taking care of work now. That first initial charge is usually what uh, what gets us. And our Knight of the Eagle died. That makes me a little sad. So there's that guy down. Get him, none cavalry. You got him. Let's go over here and help these units. I don't think they need help, but we can get stragglers if there are any. 
Actually, looks like there's some over here. Maybe. Ah. Oh, he's he's yeah he's dead. <laughs> there's no help for that guy. There is one making a run for the border, and he just got taken out. Nice. So we did lose three to death. A squire, prisoner cavalry, and our knight of the eagle. Not too happy about that, but it is what it is. So that is, I think, going to end this episode off here. Um, may come out a little shorter than what I have been posting, but uh, I'm trying to limit the boredom as much as possible and get as many as many battles in as I can while doing uh, cleanup and uh, and necessary chores off screen so that you guys aren't aren't having to watch that but yeah let's go in this episode off here uh, in our next episode we will probably try to siege quite a bit and uh, hopefully Oh, we can just take these and put them in the garrison. And hopefully, you guys will get to see a lot more action than what you have been seeing. So until then, as always, I thank you for your support. You guys have been completely awesome. And I hope to see you in the next episode.